back to another episode of the Real Duo Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Wade. You're the host, Devin. It's been a couple weeks, almost three. Man, nothing much has happened. Not a whole lot's happened with Christmas and the holidays and shit. Nah. Nobody's died. Nobody's, like, I mean, molested anybody. I'm sure people have died, but... No one that we care about. Um, what have you been watching these past couple weeks? A bunch of just garbage, honestly. Oh, <laughs> a bunch of garbage. But some of the garbage. Uh, I want... Well, before last time we had, I was doing finals week, right? Mm. And I threw out a bunch of garbage to, when I was doing <laughs> studying for finals, so like background noise. Mm. And I, so I threw on like five Adam Sandler movies. Oh my gosh. Um, I watched I, I, I like I watched Big Daddy. Big Daddy's not garbage. I watched Fifty First Dates. Fifty First Dates is all right. What else? I watched uh, Click. Um, I like Click. I don't hate Click. It's I mean, it's Click. all Adam like Sandler. It. They're all the same movie. I mean, yeah. See, and then I, I told you about this today. I watched Secret Life of Walter Mitty. That was that was in between. That was a break in between studying because mm-hmm. I actually went, hadn't seen that. That was before. a movie you actually watched. I hadn't like, seen. I hadn't seen it before, so I was like, I'll sit down and watch it. Why not? That's an alright movie. It's a whatever. Um, that was that was finals week, and then Christmas week. What did I watch for Christmas week? We watched a bunch of stuff. Uh, I, we watched Indian Jones for some reason at my house. It's a perfect Christmas movie. I guess. Killing Nazis. I don't know. We I watched part of Die Hard the other day when you were mm. watching it, and I watched it again when I went home for Christmas because it was on TV. So I watched it. Again. It's not a but Christmas movie. They cropped the fucking image on the TV, so they blew it up, and it looked like ass. <laughs> Stop doing that. Is that a channel? I guess the channel did that. Whichever channel was playing it, yeah, they fucking blew it up. And I was like, "Stop doing that." <sighs> what else? Uh, we watched Santa Claus One and Two. Me and you did. Um, we didn't watch the third one because oh, fuck it. We don't need to. Fuck the third one. I watched part of the third one, like a few days ago, and then I was like, "This is good, not good." <laughs> Turn it off and watch it on that. Uh, what other? I feel like we watched the other Christmas. What other Christmas movie did we watch? Uh, we watched a little bit of Christmas Vacation. That's right. We did watch. I'd seen. I've seen that movie so many times. Cause that's that's my family tradition. We watch it every. You didn't Christmas. watch it this year. I, I I don't need to. <clears throat> well, it's not a tradition. A tradition. Is I did actually watch it. Movie. This Christmas, just not on Christmas. No, we watched it on. like a couple weeks beforehand. Um, I think that's it. I feel like I'm missing something else I watched, but I can't remember. It'll come to you halfway through. You're just like, oh, fucking uh, Panda Express. That's not a movie. <laughs> it should be. Kung Fu Panda. It should be about pandas on a train. Oh, my God. On the train to the restaurant to get murdered. Whoa. They don't serve Panda at Panda Express. You don't know what? I do. They don't say on the sign, we don't sell pandas. I don't think it's legal to sell pandas anywhere. No one's saying it's legal or not. It doesn't mean they don't sell pandas. Mm. I mean, it's like Taco Bell. They serve horse meat or whatever. Oh, my God. That'd be ironic at Panda Express. <laughs> we sell horse meat. We sell horse meat. Because we, we love mean, pandas. Because we love pandas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't, but fuck horses. That's their motto. Panda Express. We love pandas, but fuck horses. God, boys. Oh, I watched... Uh, Speaking of fuck horses. <laughs> no. I watched that Birth of a Dragon I was telling about oh, talking that, to you about earlier. Yeah. I still don't know if I like that movie or not. Like, it, it, it seems like I don't know what... I've never heard of this fucking movie. What I've the, heard of Dragon. I've seen Dragon. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen... Let's we'll sit down and watch. It's, not a, it's a very short movie. It's like an hour and a half. So let's we'll sit down and watch it one day. Because I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. Like, I feel like there's a good movie in there. Mm. I don't know if it's a good movie. <laughs> it's, uh, it's possible. So, and then... Not, you, not a lot of good Bruce Lee. Like, I haven't... Picks. I was going to say, I haven't seen... A lot of Bruce Lee stuff, so you'll have to tell me if the guy does a good job of being Bruce Lee or not. Because I haven't. Bruce Lee's a very interesting person. He is, but I haven't seen enough to be able to be like he he was he was spot on. I mean, in the movie that I watched him, I, I thought he did all right. Very, I there, there's been very few like people who have played Bruce Lee who have nailed it, it because that's a very hard. Because Bruce Lee was very he was a very mellow person, but at the same time he had like a certain kind of cockiness to him that's kind of hard to pull off all yeah. of those things and make it convincing and work. I mean he was very cocky in this movie so that was, was, he like, was he like chill as fuck I don't know see that, that's where I'm kind of like I don't I don't know I don't, I don't know did they did he die from an aspirin uh, he, it wasn't about his life it was about like oh, it was about like a small portion of his life of, in America or something so it, was, it, was, it wasn't about his entire life it's like a little it's like a two week movie so it's like it's like a Lincoln type movie where it's not like oh here's Abraham Lincoln he was a kid and he went to school and he died it was just like here's a moment that happened basically I think it takes place over maybe a month or something of his life so that sounds interesting yeah yeah we'll, we'll have to sit down and watch it because I think I think if you don't like it 
you'll critique it enough that it'll be good for the podcast. So one or it's, the other. This fucking his hair was off and just shot and it didn't look right. That's not Bruce Lee. Yeah. Also, that was Logan's like per inspirational person growing up was Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, yeah. yeah. Bruce, Lee, Bruce Lee was awesome. He he showed me so many videos, especially the one inch punch. He showed me Bruce Lee's actual one yeah. inch punch. Wow. Bruce Lee was awesome. He does that in the movie. So it sucks that he died. He does. But how is, would he be alive now? How would yeah, he'd still be alive. He'd probably be like forty or fifty, probably. Forty, fifty, really? I think he'd be probably like mid to late fifties. I thought it was. I thought it was like sixty-ish, seventy-ish. I I don't know. I'm not good with math, so it might have been. <laughs> when when was he born? Do you I don't know? fucking know. Gosh, he know. was around in the. He was like twenty in the sixties. Twenty in the sixties. He, he showed up in Batman. The sixties was. Uh, He's like twenty or thirty back then. <laughs> The 60s was 60 years ago, almost. What? No, it was. It was 60 years ago. So he'd be... If he was, he'd be really old. He'd be 80. He'd be 80. He'd still be alive. He's fucking Bruce Lee. Jackie Chan's still alive. You, you were way off with your math. I'm, he'd be bored. Everyone knows I'm terrible at math. Stop asking me math questions, all right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You should ask, me. You should ask me that. I should ask you. How old would Bruce Lee be? I, I don't know his birthday, but... Fucker, you failed me. <laughs> if you if you were correct in saying he'd be twenty in the sixties, he'd be. I think 80. he was like late twenties, early. 30s. He'd be around his eighties now. I think. I only know that because he showed up in Adam West Batman. Oh really? Yeah. Because oh. he was he was Cato on the Green Hornet. Yeah. And that came out around the same time. They mentioned the Green Hornet. Batman. And then, yeah. That movie. And then he showed up on an episode of uh, the Batman show, which is really funny because. Uh, they they wanted uh, he he fought Robin in that show, and originally the producers were like, "Yeah, uh, you're gonna fight Robin, and Robin's gonna win." And he was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> he was like, "He was like, uh, do you not know who the fuck I am? I never win or and I so, never lose." Yeah, and so they they came to like some kind of agreement that like, all right, it's gonna be kind of like a tie. Bruce Lee versus Robin. I mean, yeah, it's it's a fun fight. That's a that's a fun episode of that show. The Green Hornet sucks, but I like that episode of Batman. Uh, but I think that's everything I watched. What do you watch? Uh, I watch a lot of shit as I usually do, but I can't remember half the stuff that I watch because it's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, I watched Chadwick Boseman's final uh, film. The Five Bloods? Uh, no. Oh, the it other came one. out in like July. Yeah. Uh, I watched Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, that, yeah. uh, which was fucking fantastic. It's it's so fucking good. Chadwick Boseman was fucking phenomenal in it. He has like, he has like four monologues in it, nice. which is insane. <laughs> and each one's different. And I'm like, how the fuck did he do this? Uh, Viola Davis was fucking really cool in it. She was, she she was very like scary and menacing. And, like, <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. Um, the the ensemble cast was fucking really good. It's it's very much a like play movie because it's based off of a stage play. It's it's kind of like Steve Jobs, where it's kind of just like most of it's just like we're in a room and we're just arguing about some shit. Nice. Every now and then they kind of leave and like you see the outside, you know, one street really because it's it's about. Uh, Ma Rainey and her her uh, blues band like recording their first like official album or whatever, and there's just all the drama surrounding that or whatever. I don't think that story's like true, but Ma Rainey was like a real person, uh, and some of the band people were like real it's people. Not real, but, but it's I, not I don't worth think the story it. around it is is like a real thing. It's not worth uh, it. But it's I don't I don't give a shit <laughs> if it happened or not because I was in it and it was I mean, it was really good, and I was surprised that my mom watched it. Because when, when oh, I really? back home for all the holidays, I mentioned it. And she was like, oh, yeah, we watched that. And I was like, holy shit. There you go. That's cool. I haven't seen it. It's, so. it's so fucking good. If you want to see Chadwick Boseman's, like, best performance, it's it's wonderful. Better than 42? Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. He's damn good at it. It's not his last thing. It'll be in one if. It's his last movie. It's his last movie. Fucker. Until they, until they CGI him into something. I mean, yeah. That, that'll happen eventually. Probably. That'll, that'll happen at some point. That like like remember when we talked about that James Dean thing? Where oh, someone yeah. was gonna CG James Dean in yeah. the movie and everyone's like, No, don't do that. We'll do that with Chadwick at some point. Like a hundred years from now. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh we're, we're honoring his life. No, you're not. You're, you're being a scummy asshole. <laughs> um, I also watched uh, I've been watching uh The Adventures of Briscoe County Junior. I don't know what that is. Uh it's it's a, a Western T V show from the nineties starring Bruce Campbell. Are you only watching it? Because Bruce Campbell's in it? Yeah. Basically, because I, I love Bruce Campbell. Uh, he's great in everything. <laughs> uh, it's not like, don't expect like, you know, Unforgiven or like Django Unchained or anything. It's a fucking 90s, like NBC fucking silly sci-fi Western show. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, it, it kind of knows what it is. It kind of doesn't take everything in it seriously. How are the um, effects? 
I mean, they're TV effects. There's not a lot of like CG going on. No, or anything, but like I'm sure they got like there's some gun but, effects. And the, the guns and stuff are fine. You don't see like blood or anything. Oh, because it's because it's t- or the squibs TV. Like you can't you can't show someone just being murdered in cold blood and bleeding out everywhere. Mm, you um, can do squibs. I feel like you can do very. The Walking Dead squibs. does it. Walking Dead was on cable for one. This was on <laughs> this was on uh, primetime TV in the nineties. Like. Different, different era of television. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, but it's fun for, for what it is. It's the the pilot's like I think ninety minutes, which is fun. It's like a little mini movie. Um, Bruce Campbell is is really fun, and I love that he just doesn't give a fuck. Is this like wacky Bruce Campbell? Or is uh, this it's like... this one's actually a little bit more like toned down. It's he's a little bit more like he's actually like he's, he's acting. He's like, not being Bruce. Campbell. He's not being Bruce. He's not just like screaming into the camera like he is in the Evil Dead movies. He's actually like. Oh, I'm actually gonna like try to give like a solid performance in this, and he did, he does a solid job, and and Good it's surprisingly, it's surprisingly like kind of serious in some scenes. Like, it, it's a goofy show. It's kind of a light, fun show. But there's one moment where like Bruce Campbell. It, it's not a spoiler because it happens in like the fourth episode, so it's like also, he he doesn't die. The show's from but, the '90s, and it's from the '90s, so fuck so. you. Um, but like Bruce Campbell's on the ground and he's like dying, and his not really his friend, but his a character that's shown up in like other episodes and they've been kind of like button heads shows up and they have this like really like emotional like interaction with each other and they kind of bond and become friends over this one moment it's like really serious and i was like that why did that work like (laughs) it it worked really well and i was like oh fuck i actually kind of like this character like fuck this is cool um so it's actually a pretty solid show and it's got it's got a cult following how many seasons is this show there's one it got canceled oh nice yeah, one season for that entire box. Yeah, I don't know why this whole fucking <laughs> looks like it like has three seasons. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they it. did it. If they released it on Blu-ray, it'd be like one disc. Probably. Yeah, um, I, this will probably never get a Blu-ray release because yeah. it's a very I've never even heard of it. Limited cult. You just showed it to me. So. Um, but it's it's pretty solid. It's, it's like Tremors. Just keep making them. Yeah, we still haven't watched we haven't Tremors watched, Seven. Or we whatever. haven't watched Tremors Six either. We watch that fucking shit too. That'd be the greatest episode we ever do is when we talk about Tremors. I don't know about that. Oh, well, it'll be fantastic. It won't be fun for me editing it. It'll, it'll, it'll be fun to talk about. It'll be as good as our The Lost Pasture video oh, that we did. Fucker. Don't even bring that up anymore. I also watched uh, Ben, ben Hur. Yeah, have you seen this? I have not, but I, I know about it. I know about it. I feel like you would love this movie. Do you think so? Because the sets in this movie are fucking phenomenal. Ooh. They're massive fucking sets. Filled with people, like the the chariot scene, which is on, which is like part two. It's like towards the end of the fucking movie. I think I've seen that scene. It's actually like people in chariots, yeah, like yeah, falling yeah. off and getting hurt. I've seen. I think I've seen that scene on the, YouTube. The arenas are like fucking gigantic. And I don't massive. think anybody got hurt in that movie. I think they. I don't know if they got hurt. They had like good stunt doubles. Yeah, but it's still like when you're watching, you're like, oh fuck, that's a real that guy who just got run over by a looks bunch of like horses. he got ran over. Yeah, like that's fucking really cool. Charlton Heston's really cool in it. The story's kind of neat visually it's fucking beautiful um it does have some religious stuff in it but not a whole lot like jesus is in the movie but like he's kind of like a side character a little bit um and the music i thought the score was fucking great this this was back when they made like those old epics like the ten commandments and like cleopatra and stuff um they don't make they don't make movies like this anymore it's like hey we're gonna make like yeah giant movies with like real stuff it's easier just to cg yeah and it sucks (laughs) so Ben Hur's awesome. This is one of my mom's favorite movies. I love this fucking I think movie. It's a classic. I feel like yeah. So it's I, fucking real. I good. haven't seen it, but I've heard about it. It's so, so good. If you have uh, like th- almost four hours to spare, four hours. It. It's three hours and like forty five minutes. Martin Scorsese directed this. Like Jesus Christ. No, Martin Scorsese <laughs> did not direct this. <laughs> that was a joke because Martin Scorsese um, makes long movies. He really does. He really does. But this is a this is a good one. It's split up into two parts, so if you need to, you can watch part one and come back and watch. It has two discs, like split. Yeah. Wow. Part one because there's an intermission after. I part can't one. believe the Blu-ray couldn't fit both of them. Yeah, they, it's, um, it's crazy. I mean, it probably could, but they they do that a lot because like the Lord of the Rings extended editions are split up into two discs, like per movie. They could have fit both of those movies on one disc, but if you want to keep the fidelity of the of how the movies look. You probably want to kind of split them up to make them look as best as they possibly can, because even even the four K versions of Lord of the Rings are split up on two discs. So I I think they do that to like preserve like how good it it looks. I see, I see. Um, 
So and it also gives you a nice break. Here. See that? See that's nearly a four hour movie, and they put an intermission in there. They wanted to put an intermission in Endgame. Remember that when that was coming out? Yeah. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> I guess I don't mind it. I mean, it gives. This was also back then when people would go to the theater as if it was like a stage play. Yeah. But like people would dress up and they'd be there. Like it was like an all day thing. And so the intermission was like, all right, we can go to the bathroom, we can come back, we can talk, we can do whatever. But then we come back and then we're in and we're finishing the movie. Now you watch a movie and people get pissed when you get up to go take a piss. Like once you're in the theater, you're in the theater. I get pissed when people in front of me get up. I'm like, get out of the way. I, I do. Just sit down. You can't hold your bladder for two pee hours. Your, pee your pants. I don't give a shit. Like, goddamn. <laughs> go to the bathroom before you come. You fuckers. And that's why if, if it's a good movie, I want to stay in the movie. Yeah. I don't want to break. I don't want intermission. Yeah. I don't want to miss anything. It's not a TV show where it has commercials. It's, it's a movie. I want to stay in the movie. But I mean, it makes sense here because it's four and a half hours. Yeah. Still. Almost. So. Still. And I mean, it's, if it's on Blu ray, you can just skip the intermission. That's true. But I still gotta, I gotta mm-hmm. replace discs. Sure. <laughs> At that point, I'll get distracted. There, right, I need to go get my popcorn or Swedish. Well, fish yeah, that gives you time to whatever the fuck. Do, do your shit. Mm-hmm. And then come back and enjoy speaking the of movies with real sets, we did watch Harry Potter. Are we gonna save that? Oh shit! Or we want you want to talk a little bit about it and we save like a bigger thing uh, about I mean, it? We can mention that we watched it. We yeah. might do a whole like actual separate video on it. What, what were your just overall thoughts? Harry I Potter. Like I, I I like the movies. I kind of like the later movies a little bit more. I think Harry Potter <laughs> kind of sucks as a character. But I like the world. I like the the score of all the movies. I like the look. The um, beginning movies, we you mentioned this when we were watching them. They have gorgeous sets. They do. I think all the movies are, are I think they get gorgeous. a little weaker as they the sets at least as they go on. But especially the beginning though, like those sets were yeah, insane. They, really they use a lot of practical stuff. Yeah, because that was just the era they didn't have the CG effects to do it. Yeah, but um, I I I agree with you. I like the later movies. Apparently, uh, a lot of people don't like the later movies. I like the earlier ones. Those people are dumb, and they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, like up to Goblet of Fire. Those are like people's favorites. Those Goblet of Fire is probably my least favorite because it's it's just kind of like all right, watch Harry Potter, like play games for two and a half hours. I I, I still say the second one, the Chamber of Secrets, is my Chamber favorite. of Secrets is my greatest. So that's my least favorite. Because that one's kind of just the first one again. It's not great. Yeah. It's the first one again, but not as good. So Yeah. yeah I can believe yeah. Al Rickman is amazing. Al Rickman is my favorite character. He's amazing. In the whole series. He's fucking phenomenal. Dumbledore is pretty cool. I like Dumbledore. Dumbledore's cool. He's kind of cool. Even though I know they had to replace him in, in between yeah, movies. Yeah, because the dude died. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's, the, I, he's not as interesting as Snape. I, rem- I remember you were saying though that you were like I want a Voldemort movie because like Voldemort's were... interesting as a motherfucker. I don't know more about Voldemort. Why does he not have a nose? Why are you so concerned about his nose? Why was he? Because he just he went from looking like a dude to just not having a nose and looking like a like snake I said man. he was he was reborn. How I don't know. It's magic. That. It's magic. Why why was he like a little fetus baby? Because magic. But who made that fetus baby? Did, I don't know. Did somebody give birth to that little fetus baby, or did somebody make it? Probably like Frankenstein. Because if know. that's the case, then why can't everyone in this world do that? Because he's Voldemort. That's not a reason. I don't know. I didn't read the books. Is that in the books? Probably. Do I need to start reading reading again? No, you you, you can't read anyway. I can't. <laughs> so it'll, be, it'll take me 10 years. <laughs> it, 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 no, it'd be an audio book. You just listen to it. Oh, fuck. It'll be a 10 hour long book. <laughs> don't listen to all of them. No, if I, if I read one of them, I gotta, I gotta listen No, to them. don't do it all at once is what I'm saying. No, I have to. You gotta do it all at once. Yeah. It'd be way I, gotta, I gotta knock them out. I gotta read them. Way longer I need to know hours. how Voldemort came back as a fetus. I feel like they explained that in probably like the third book or something. Fourth book. Because that's that's where he came back. Was they didn't explain point. it in the movie. I don't care. It's magic. Should have explained it in the movie. Magic. 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 Also, you hated that Draco didn't get a story. Yeah, Draco sucks. Fuck Draco. <laughs> Fuck him. Well, I liked him. He's terrible. I thought all of them were decent at, at the worst. So, all the movies. Yeah, they're, I mean, the, the worst it gets is like... Eh. Yeah. Like I wouldn't say any of them really like. Oh my god. This is like I can't. Terrible. I can't watch it. Yeah. There's none like, of them like that. All of them. They they all have great things about each of them. Like even in Goblet of Fire, the the Voldemort scene in it is like the best fucking part of the movie. And it's it, that's a great scene. It is. It's really good. Um, so I mean, they're not. They're not. None of them are bad. No. Or do you think there's any of them that are great though? Would you say that? 
I don't know. I like the last one, honestly. I don't know. Deathly Hallows Part 2 was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed that one quite a bit. I don't know how you feel about Prisoner of Azkaban, but I still think that's my favorite. Prisoner of Azkaban would have been great if they didn't have time travel in it. And we'll talk about that more when we actually talk about the Harry Potter Yeah. Because I fucking hate time travel. <laughs> um, yeah, they're all right. But yeah, overall thoughts, I thought they were good. I understand why people like them. Yeah, I get, I get uh, it. I get it. I get it. But we'll we'll go in depth one day later in the future. At some point, yeah. But we just want to mention that we we got through them all, all eight it's of them. Four days. Yeah, we watched two. We watched two a day yeah. for four days. <laughs> four days in a row. We didn't. We just yeah. we just knocked them out. If I was off work, we could have probably got it through in like two days. But probably, I, yeah. I had work and shit. So. Yeah, working's for the week. Yeah. Um. Let's see what else? What else we got? Oh, we gotta talk about the Mandalorian, I guess, right? Is there anything else? It's time for everyone's favorite segment. I won't, I won't sing this time. The Mandalore Review. The Mandalore Review. Just one episode, right? We just said we watched the finale. Episode. Just finale. Just the season finale. All right. All right. Everyone's been talking about the last two. Everybody weeks. sit back. Wade's going to Wade's gonna last, rant. This is probably the last people you'll hear talk about the finale because everyone's talking about it already. Wade's going to rant probably. So everybody. I will, but I want to hear. If you don't want to hear Wade rant, skip like 15 minutes ahead. Sure. <laughs> but. I want to hear your thoughts first before I go on my right. tirade. You're probably going to hate me. I, I kind of... I, I don't give a shit about you. I'm kind of flipping towards liking this more than when I initially watched it. Because you, you you know when I initially watched it, I absolutely hated what they did. I'm not going to do spoilers. Should we do spoilers? It's, just, it's, it's been right. two weeks, everybody. Every, everyone has seen what happens. It's right, true. They've been spoiled somehow, so we can just talk about it. But... I kind of hated that they brought Luke back initially, and I'm kind of just like, whatever now. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't like it, but I'm kind of just like, maybe maybe this is something good for the show, personally. Maybe, because I think season three, they if it doesn't have Grogu in it, and this is how he goes away, like, I feel like they could expand the story just a little bit more to allow Mandalorian not have the crutch of, I gotta find the Jedi. That's, that story arc is done. So I think maybe this will help the show a little bit more. I mean, I don't like that it's Luke. Because I don't think we needed the fan service of it. But I see where it could be heading, is what I'm saying. I don't know what season three is going to be like. They could bring Go- Grogu back for all I know. I don't you know. Almost, you almost said Goku. Yeah, I almost said Goku. <laughs> I, hey, you put Goku in the show, fuck I am. That'd be the craziest that. crossover ever. You're fucking nuts. If they bring Grogu back, though, for season three, and they bring the crutch back, because I mean, I feel like you can give Mandalorian so much more freedom if he's not just like hunting down the Jedi in season three again or whatever he's going to be doing. Because, like you said, it could be about him taking back over Mandalore or doing something, fighting Bo-Katan or whatever, because he's got Moff Gideon, he's tied up or whatever. Mm. I feel like that story arc is done too. Season three, I feel like could be almost a little mini rebirth of this, a little new arc of the show kind of thing. Uh, Overall though, I'd like this, I thought this episode was good up until the Luke Skywalker part. I did like seeing Luke Skywalker mow down people, or not people, robots. I thought that was cool. People have shown that in the Darth Vader scene from Rogue One next to each other. Very similar. Even like he crushes somebody, they both do that. I like seeing Luke in his prime, but I don't think Luke needed to be in the show. They could have just done Ahsoka or whatever and it could have been the same. Could have been the guy from uh, the video game. I don't know his name. Cal Kestis. Could have been that guy. He could have brought in... Could have brought in the other two Jedi and Rebels. Which I think they're both still alive. I haven't finished Rebels. So I don't know. I don't watch that. But you could have brought either one of those in. You could have brought in a new character. That's a Jedi. You could have done him. You didn't have to do Luke. Mm-hmm. But I get it. They wanted fan service. I get it. I understand. And like I said, I feel like this opens up Season 3 just a little bit. If they don't do Baby Yoda stuff in Season 3. But that that's my thoughts. I don't remember what happened in the episode that much. What, what happened in the beginning? Well, we'll talk about it a little bit more. I was going to say. As it goes along. How do you feel about season two as a whole? Season two, way better than season one, personally. I think I was more invested in season two. Um, I think the most of the episodes you can watch on their own and they still work overall. Um, the CG effects got way better in season two, personally, I thought. Uh, besides besides Young Luke, which I will talk about. That looks like garbage. Hot garbage. Um but overall, I thought it was I thought it was better. I I don't know why Boba Fett's in this show. Honestly, like he didn't really do much, even in 
I'll tell you why when I talk about it. <laughs> Even in the I'll, season I'll, finale? I'll tell you why, because there's a reason. I mean, I know. And then there's a post credit scene with Boba Fett, which we'll talk about. But I thought season two was better than season one. I liked it. I thought it was... Yeah, I just thought it was better. So, Any, any other questions for me before you get into would your... you Would you, like, recommend this show to people like what like if someone are we, are, are we talking to about a diehard star wars fan either, either or one like if someone i'm well i mean diehard fans have already probably watched the show but like a casual fan if they wanted to like get into star wars would you recommend the show to them? as like their first thing to watch maybe not the first thing maybe they've seen the movies but they're oh. not like super into yeah it. yeah would you like hey go watch the Mandalorian? yeah because i would say that my dad's more of a casual fan and he enjoyed it he loved that's seeing... not a casual fan so. i mean he doesn't watch like Clone he's, he's Wars. He's read all the books. He's seen all the movies. But he doesn't watch like the Clone Wars I, and Rebels I, I, and I don't all that know. stuff. He doesn't keep up with updates on Star Wars and shit like that. Sure. But he's he's not a casual though. <laughs> true. He's like he's like in the middle. But he he loved seeing Luke come back, and then I get it. I like I said, I get it. The fan service, I get it. But I I'm more of I think this should have been more just about. The Mandalorian. It didn't need Luke in the show. I think the show was good enough without Luke. It didn't need him. But it's whatever. Like I said, I think it opens up a little bit more. What? What? You want to rant now before we we well, yeah, maybe can, argue about it? I can do my rant. I can I can do my, my go for rant it. on the finale. Go for it. I may interject so, in, her, in there a little you bit. You may interject if, if I say something stupid. <laughs> um, so the finale as a whole, up until. Luke Skywalker shows up. I would actually say it's a solid episode. I didn't hate the whole episode. Um, I thought that like it was cool seeing these characters come back that were established in the uh, previous episodes of the season. Uh, I thought it was cool that they're all teaming up. They're all going in. We gotta go get this motherfucker. We gotta stop him. We gotta get Baby Yoda back. There's a cool fight between uh, Moff Gideon and uh, Mandalorian. Yeah, that's right. Giancarlo Esposito apparently did that whole fight himself. Which really? Is cool. Old man. Yeah, yeah, and apparently like because I watched the behind the scenes thing that they put out uh, on Christmas. Oh, the gallery. Or the whatever. yeah, and apparently like the stunt double was like, I was having trouble keeping up with John Carlo because he was just <laughs> fucking going at it, like hitting me with the goddamn sword. So that's fun, um, and I I like that character of uh, Moff Gideon. Um, the dark troopers were were kind of neat, and I I like that they were just these like unstoppable fucking things. And the Mandalorian actually like was having like he he actually had to like think in a clever way of like fuck how am i gonna stop these things i can't just shoot them i can't just do whatever he like burns one of them from the inside out and then even then it still just like keeps coming at him yeah and, and i he thought just blows him out of an airlock and i was like all right that's kind of fun i thought for a second in the episode that they just like shot him out the air tunnel i was like that, that would have been a little lame if, i was, if I was gonna say i was like did you but, really set up these guys just to shoot them out of yeah, the air tunnel but, but I, I, they I like flew that. back because yeah and, and then they come back later um the the biggest thing about this episode that I don't like is Luke Skywalker showing up early. And I know I've seen all the fucking reactions online of people losing their goddamn minds about it. And, oh, it's Luke, as if we haven't seen Luke come back in something before already. Um, I, I'm i not even pissed that his face looked weird. He looked like a PS3 character. It, it, looked, it looked really bad. It looked terrible. And it could have been done way better. You could have just got someone that looked like Mark Hamill. Than <laughs> and I don't think anyone would have cared to be completely honest. Could have got Sebastian Stan. Could have got Sebastian Stan. I think people would probably would have preferred that, to be honest. Um, I hate the fact that Luke Skywalker's in the show, period. Because, for for one, it's not even like they set this up, like, throughout the season. It was like, they, they in this episode, they set up, the, the dark troopers come back in. We have all of our all of our main characters from the la- from the season that we've been watching. In this one room, uh, Moff Gideon's tied up, Dark Troopers come back, they're busting down the fucking door, and they're all, like, at the door, like, ready to go, like, fuck, how are we gonna get out of this? How are we gonna stop a whole fleet of Dark Troopers? And then all of a sudden, a fucking X-Wing just circles around, and then, oh, Luke comes out. Luke just shows up out of nowhere, and then just saves the day, and, and completely kills any bit of tension in that scene. That's like if in... Winter Soldier, if, if you know, Bucky was beating the shit out of Captain America, then Iron Man just flew in at the last second and blasted Bucky and killed him and was like, hey, you're good. And then flew out. Like, you'd be like, that sucks. 
Like that that's lame. It, Luke was not like it, it would have been I think it would have been a little bit cooler at least if it was Ahsoka, because at least she was in the fucking season. Um and and that could have maybe tied into her show, maybe, where she's on she's going on these adventures with Baby Yoda or whatever the fuck. Um But it to me it just felt it felt like a lazy out to get these characters out of a situation that they kind of wrote themselves into a corner with. Um, and it also felt like very cheap fan service. It, it wasn't, it wasn't clever fan service where they had like a reference to something that, you know, if, cause I don't, I don't hate fan service. I hate lazy fan service. <laughs> if, if you reference something that the fans know that doesn't detract from the story, or if there's like a sentence that somebody says that you, that if you know what that means, you're like, Oh fuck, that's cool that they reference it. That's fun. But just having Luke show up is the laziest thing you could have done. That's the the cheapest clap moment. Like, oh, Luke's back. Like, that's there's nothing special about that because it's just, oh, how do we get people to like the finale? Put Luke in it, and I I think they could have done it better. And I think that if they if they think they needed Luke Skywalker in this show to make the finale as good as it was, that's saying a lot about the people involved with this show, and that's saying a lot about the show itself which means they don't have a lot of faith in the actual content of the show. Because I don't think you need to put Luke into something like this show, especially when the show wasn't supposed to be about the Jedi. It was supposed to be this like gritty Western show that wasn't even, that was kind of, for the most part, really far removed from the movies outside of Baby Yoda. Um, and, and I just think that, I I think the the appearance of Luke Skywalker really killed the finale and honestly kind of killed the whole season for me to be completely fair. I see what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But do you do you get what I'm saying about how this could open up season three into a, a big? No, thing? I I totally see that. And I I if this is the only time we see Luke, I don't I don't mind it. It's not a big it's, deal. To me. We're we're gonna see Luke again. Um, I mean, in this show. I mean, I'm it, sure he'll show up. He's going to show him again. But. And he might show up again in this show at some point. Because now that he's shown up in it, what's stopping them from putting him in season four or season five or whatever down the road? Because he's already, he's already been in one. That's once. what I'm saying. It's, it's completely If possible. he comes back again and he becomes like a bigger character in the show, it may start to bug me a little bit more. But this is the only time we see him. And then later on in the show, Mandalorian just meets Grogu out and about, whatever. Mm. I'm fine with that. That it doesn't bother well, me. Well, I I think I I don't I'd rather not like season three, whenever that's come out. It I I kind of like that like Grogu's probably not going to show up again. He he will because Grogu makes all the money for this film <laughs> right now, and they're going to want to put him in as many things as possible. But I I think that's kind of neat. That season three is just kind of like we don't know what is going to happen in season three. They could take this character anywhere and do anything with this character. Um, I think that they kind of they 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 did the reveal of, of like his face and they did that whole character arc i think a little bit too fast i think two seasons is a little bit too quick to have that have that moment and have that moment work i think you need to build up this character because season one i think season one did things way too quick i think season one should have been here's this mandalorian guy here's this badass like oh i'm just i'm this gritty mandalorian blah, blah, blah. and then at the end of the season he finds this fucking baby and he's like well, what the fuck is this and then season two is him going on these adventures with this baby you know bonding with it a little bit more and then season three is when we start to kind of see him kind of break out of this religion and and by the end of season three show his face a little bit more i i think having two seasons especially when we only have eight episodes and the episodes aren't super long um i think it's a little quick to be doing stuff like that i i like that moment and i thought that moment was really well done when he takes his mask off grogu's like touching his face it was well done um and then it's immediately ruined by seeing cgi and luke skywalker and they're just looking <laughs> at him like a fucking ps2 game derp his little derp face um and i i i think that now that baby Yoda is out of the show, he will be less of a crutch, like you were saying, and now we can really like focus on the Mandalorian. But what made the Mandalorian interesting was the mystery and and the fact that like like is he gonna you know show his face ever? Is he gonna, like that was the whole gimmick of the show? I, that's not a, that he never that, takes his fucking mask, and now that he's done it, season three we're definitely gonna see a lot more of his face. 
For me, it was never a big deal. I don't care if he wears his helmet or not. I don't care either, but that's that, that was the whole point of the show. That wasn't the point of that the show. That was the gimmick of the show. I don't show. think you understood the show. That the, was gimmick the gimmick of the show of the was show. Baby Yoda. No, the, the whole gimmick was, hey, we have a main character. We can't see, he can't emote in a normal way because he wears a mask the whole time. That was the whole gimmick of the show. That was the whole point of making the main character a Mandalorian. Otherwise, you could have just made it just some guy. But we've established in this universe many times that Mandalorian take their helmets off all the time. This is a I know, a but then weird. Why, then why set up in the first season this weird religion with the Mandalorian? Because he's a weirdo. But but why do that if you're then just gonna abandon that whole thing two seasons in? I don't think it's really abandoned per se. They still did what they wanted to do with it. I think they're done with that arc though. That's, that's what I'm saying. I think because season three, we're yeah. definitely going to see his face a whole lot more. Yeah, probably because Pedro Pasco wants his more yeah. face time. And I think that's kind of like, I don't care either way because I like Pedro Pascal and I don't really give a shit whether his face is covered or not. But I think that just kind of, that's a weird thing to just give up after two seasons. Again, it, um, it, it doesn't matter and to me that much. Baby Yoda was kind of a gimmick as well. And, and but, but that was kind of the whole show as well. It, it kind of had a whole like, lone wolf and cub vibe where it was this gritty bounty hunter going along with this baby and bonding with this baby and you know the the baby was cute and the baby did some fun stuff and like whatever that was kind of the the whole like core of the show and it's going to be interesting to see what the show becomes without that aspect of it um and if it if people will even give a shit because i know a lot of people really like baby yoda um I, i don't know We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. I have, literally have no idea what season three is going to be. Yeah. Nope, nobody does. Uh, then you want to talk about the after credit scene real quick? The, the Boba Fett? The, the Book of Boba Fett? The thing? Book of Boba Fett. What do you, yeah. think, what do you think about that? Uh, that? That is the only reason they put Boba Fett in this show to begin with, was to give him his own fucking show in the first place. I, I don't care. I, I'm not going to watch <laughs> it because because... The, the, the whole reason why, because in that gallery thing that for season two, they were talking about like, you know, Robert Rodriguez was talking about like, oh, I love Boba Fett and I blah, 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 blah. They completely missed the point on why people like Boba Fett. It wasn't because Boba Fett was a badass. Boba Fett did fucking nothing in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and then he died. People like Boba Fett because he was mysterious. He was interesting. He had like five lines in the whole thing, but he looked cool as hell. Now they're they're going to start to give him more of a character, and he's he's probably going to be pretty much just like Jango Fett for the most part. I mean, he might be a little bit more gritty and like ruthless, but he's pretty much just going to be how we expect him to be. And how they're they're going, they've basically turned Boba Fett into what the fans have turned Boba Fett into over the years, especially how he was in the Mandalorian, where he's just this big legendary epic badass who just fucking does everything and is invincible and whatever, and that's really boring. And, and that's not really that's that's not a cool concept for a show like he's, he's coming back for revenge i guess i don't know the palace or like he's like i said there's there's like three fan theories of what his show is going to be either he's hunting down han solo which if if they do that which i wouldn't put past them to do that at some point in the show i don't want a fucking cg harrison ford and i have. don't want all the narrative i was gonna say you see the that solo's it's ass either, out of the show it's either one or the other if they're gonna do that keep his ass out of the show um he's gonna fight timothy oliphant or whatever his name is because they have I guess they're both on the same planet and they kind of both have beef i guess i don't know they're not, do they have beef i mean he was wearing his armor or whatnot okay if, if boba fits that fucking petty <laughs> fuck him <laughs> or so a lot of people are talking uh, he's going to hunt down Mace Windu for killing his daddy. Which... They, so so two out of the three things involve bringing another character back that we've already seen. So those are the, something else. the fan theories. That doesn't mean that any of them are I know, but I'm true. saying this is, this is what Star Wars is. And this is kind of what the Mandalorian became. And this is what I was kind of hoping it wouldn't become. Where it's just, hey, we got to put Luke in this fucking thing somewhere because people know Luke. And and we have to sh- somehow shove in somebody from the movies into this fucking show, and that's what I think. E- every single one of these shows coming out is going to be that essentially. We got the book of Boba Fett. We got Ahsoka, which she's a character from the shows. But I have I I don't think they're going to pass up the opportunity to have Luke Skywalker meet Ahsoka Tano. I think they're definitely going to do that at some oh, point in that for show. Sure. And then we have the Lando show. And then we have Andor. And we have like all of these things that are already connected to the movies. 
And it's like, is that all? Is that all anybody wants from Star Wars? Is just everything connected to everything else? Like that's lame. It's the Star that's, Wars, that's, that's the world we live in. That that's that's dumb. That's real dumb. You ain't in charge of it. That's real dumb. You can't change it. That's not that's not an excuse for it being that though. I'm not. I'm just saying because that's because that's that's and that's lazy storytelling on their part. Just that eh, our shit didn't work, so now we're just gonna give you everything that you've already seen before because we know you like that stuff. That's that's lazy. And so, instead of instead of making new things that are good, they completely gave up and was just like, here's just here's stuff you've seen before that we didn't make. But there you go. So. I know when you first watched the season finale, you said you were done. Like, done, done. Star mm-hmm. Wars, nothing more. You still on that boat? Yeah. So far, yeah. Not even, no Kenobi show, nothing? The the Kenobi show never, I, like, that show never sounded interesting to me because it's like, what what's what's he going to do in that fucking show? Darth Vader's in that show apparently now. What the fuck is he going to do? They're going to meet and be like, oh, shit, you're dirt, like, fuck. I thought you were dead, Anakin. Well, cool. We know where their story ends up. There's nothing, there's no, like, cool moments we could have in that in that show at all and there's not even is there a plot synopsis for that show no so i don't even know what the show's about so i can't even really be excited for it anyway um but as of right now like there's there's nothing interesting star wars wise coming out that i give a shit about and and after seeing the finale of the mandalorian i they're going to do that more with more of these shows where it's just where they're just going to squeeze in some fucking character from this movie or that movie or whatever because we know them and the show can't just stand on its own, and I, I think that's bad. And I, I, I don't want to. If if that's the model that they're going to keep going with for the next decade or however long they're going to continue doing these shows, I don't want to support that. Is there anything that would bring you back into it? Uh, if they, if for well, for one, if they stop doing fan service altogether, that would be great. That would never happen. It won't, but that'd be great. But also, if they took a little bit more chances with star wars and they started to kind of do things a little bit differently like not everything has to be about mandalorians or the jedi or whatever make a fucking movie off like in the like outer rim somewhere that has nothing to do with anything we've seen has nothing to do with any of the characters we've seen doesn't take place in between episode three and four because i know they like that fucking that that period in time it's just a random fucking thing that happens out in the star wars universe and it just involves a couple characters and it's new, and it's different, and it's, you know, I, I wouldn't say make it R-rated, because Star Wars doesn't necessarily need to be R-rated, but make it a little bit more, like, gritty, or a little bit more serious. Because because I Star Wars has this weird obsession with just throwing humor into their shit. <laughs> when, it, when I'm fine with that, but not every Star Wars thing needs to have that. And I think that they definitely, they think that they need that, and they don't. So m- maybe at some point if we get something sort of in that vein sure i'll check it out if it seems interesting but i just don't because the, the mandalorian was it, it started off being like oh this is a different thing for star wars that we haven't seen before and it seems like they're they're doing they're trying to do like a gritty western that isn't really like it's somewhat connected to the movies because it's star wars but it's going to be it's going to kind of stand on its own it's going to kind of be its own thing now it seems like they want to make this they want the Mandalorian to be like a springboard for other things and and tie into both the TV shows and the movies. And I think that's a bad idea. I and mean, shouldn't have did that. Well, I wouldn't hold your breath on the new stuff anytime soon. No, we're not going to get that. Especially with all the stuff they announced. Nothing, yeah, we're not going to get Nothing is new except for that Squadrons movie that they're doing. It's the only thing that's sure, slightly yeah. different. Yeah. So, wouldn't hold your breath on that. Yeah, which sucks. So... But like like I said, I see both sides of the fans. I see I see the people that like it and I see the people that hate it. And I understand both sides. I don't know which side I'm on currently. I'm still gonna watch some of the shows. I'm not gonna watch all I'm not watching the Andor show. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone's gonna watch that fucking show. Uh, I'll check out the Kenobi show just because I love you McGregor and I love Open One. That's fair. And that's probably about it. I'll continue watching Mandalorian. Maybe if the Ahsoka show's any good, I might watch that. But I don't care about the Lando show, honestly. I don't care about that Squadrons movie. Maybe. Well, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Star Wars at the moment. I don't know. I think I think they're kind of they're they're going back into the same trap that they kind of 
just got out of with this with the first season of the Mandalorian, where the movies came out and the first movie was good. You know, Force Awakens was good, but everyone was like, "All right, next movie, can we not have as much like fan service and can it not be you know as much you know a new hope? Can we have like something new, please?" And then they just kind of kept giving us the same shit. And then people got kind of bored with it. And then The Mandalorian came along and was like, hey, here's something that's actually kind of different. And it, it's kind of new. And it's kind of, it, it, it's, you know, something we haven't quite seen before in Star Wars. And then eventually it just ended up being, it's just more Star Wars. They panicked. and They, they panicked everything. and they're like, fuck, we have to just do everything. It's like Sony. <laughs> where Sony's like, we have to just shove everything into this movie. That's kind of where Lucasfilm is. Where something, once something gets successful, they're like, fuck, we have to put Luke in it. We got to put Darth Vader in it. We got to put, we got to put everyone in it. And it, they don't need to do that. And I, I don't understand why they think that they need to do that. Why, I know why they think they need to do that. Because they, they put Luke in and people fucking lost their minds. So that's that's why. But I think the season finale would have been a little bit more impactful if it was just, hey, how are these characters going to get out of this? And then they, do, they write something for them to get out of it. Cool. Like that would have been much better because it's characters that we know that we follow through the show that we have come to like. Get it, find some kind of clever way to get out of the situation, except for Boba Fett because he just pieces the fuck out, which is a little weird. He wasn't even but, in the season finale, really. Yeah, he shows up for like a second and then he he, just, he drops him off on the ship and then that's it. Yeah, that's he, just, hey, he, he leaves his partner behind. Cool. Um, Maybe back up in after credits. Sure, but it's like why? why? You could have been a big help, Boba Fett. I swear they did that just so Luke and him wouldn't meet for some reason. That, that that's probably why they did that. But then it's like, don't put Luke in the fucking finale. <laughs> have have Boba Fett like stick because his whole thing was, hey, we're gonna help you get Baby Yoda back. He didn't even stick around to see if they succeeded. He just peaced out and was like, ah, fuck you. So he he lied about his little promise. He fulfilled it, even though he didn't know. He didn't. He didn't know. So he how the fuck does he know if he fulfilled it or not? I mean, maybe they maybe they had a group meeting afterwards and we didn't see it. Who knows? If we didn't see it, so it didn't happen. <laughs> Who knows? Um, is there anything else you want to talk about the Mandalorian? Did you get uh, everything off your chest? Um, uh, I mean, I guess I just don't. Like, I I think season two definitely was better than season one. I think season two tone tone wise was a little bit more consistent there were some really good episodes in it like the ahsoka episode was actually like really good um i just think the payoff wasn't worth the payoff and i think it was very lazy how they just wrapped everything up um and that made me just fucking hate the show even more (laughs) well we'll see we'll we'll come back in like a year from now we'll see if wade's back into star wars yet i probably won't be it'll be hot I'll, i'll probably still be ranting about fucking star wars like i usually am it'll be hot time it'll be ranting about rise of skywalker still oh definitely <laughs> I'll, I'll never not rant about rise of skywalker uh speaking of star wars i got some i got one bit of news oh, that shit. you already know about and we'll talk about it for like a split second here because we kind of already discussed a little bit of it fandom wire which isn't a very trusted source oh yeah, yeah. said that they might be doing a young luke skywalker show i don't believe that's true i but i don't believe that it's true yet I think it will be. Fandom Wire sometimes just throw stuff out in season. Like, that that's in, fair, in but I think sticks. after after the reaction they've seen from, from I mean, Luke I don't up, doubt that that they would be crazy to not mind. be like, hey, maybe we should make a Luke Skywalker show in, in his prime, and we can see him like go off and do these little adventures. I think that I think they're definitely thinking about doing something like that. I was gonna say I have, I'm sure it's crossed somebody's mind. Yeah, Luke's film. Like, oh, maybe maybe we should yeah, do this, which I don't like. I don't. I don't want that. Luke's story was done in Return of the Jedi. And then they dug him back up and then they killed him. <laughs> like, he, we don't need more Luke. I don't know. And and seeing Luke in his prime is going to be boring. Because what else, like, what else is there to... to, where to it, if he's in his prime, that means he's learned everything he needs to know. There's not going to be any struggle. He's just going to... He's a master Jedi now. So what's going to be, like, the struggle of the show? Nothing. I don't know. It's like with the Ahsoka show, like that's gonna be really kind of interesting to see how they, like, take her arc and where she's gonna go. Because we saw in the episode of the Mandalorian, she was in it. She just cut through motherfucker like butter. Like she's she's not gonna struggle all that much in that show, and that's gonna be boring. I don't know. Maybe there's some Inquisitors still running around or something. I don't, I don't know what that is, but I'm sure Luke could probably beat him up. <laughs> you don't know what an Inquisitor is? They're basically Darth Vader's henchmen. 
That yeah, dude. he could he could fucking he could fuck with people. They're they're trying to kill Jedi. <laughs> okay, cool. He's a master Jedi. He's the chosen one. Yeah, they killed Master Jedi before. Okay, well he's Luke Skywalker. He's the main. I char- guarantee- he's the main character of the show. He's I hundred percent guarantee an Inquisitor will show up in Kenobi. I, I can guarantee it. Probably. So they need somebody for him to fight. And if Obi Wan can, if Obi Wan beats one, which he probably will, Luke's probably gonna be one too. And there's gonna be no tension whatsoever. And we've already seen the end of Luke's story. So it doesn't really ultimately matter. Unless those movies aren't canon anymore. Which I've heard some people say that the Mandalorian's kinda of pushing towards like yeah. rewriting the sequels. It, so. it's it seems that way. Which is really fucking hilarious. So but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know if they'll go that far yet. We'll see what happens. If they bring back Han Solo and do another story arc with him. They're gonna bring him back again. Yeah. I don't know if Harrison Ford will want to do it. No, but. Harrison Ford's done. But I'm sure if they paid him enough money, he'd come back. No, don't. Don't make new things. <laughs> you have an entire library of books that are no longer canon that you can just steal and just make movies out of. I mean, Do that. I mean, any of those books are good. But... Make them good. You don't have to make them beat for beat. Make them good. Take a, take a bad story, turn it into something good, and make people go, oh shit, that's actually like they made a cool movie out of it. That's fun. Because Rogue One isn't like a great story on paper. But in the movie, like they made a fun, solid, like action movie out of that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And so, no, we gotta just bring back everything we've seen before. We gotta bring back Mace Windu again. I think we've seen him. If they do that, they'd just do it because Samuel Jackson wants to come back. I don't care if Sam Jackson wants to come back for 15 more Star Wars movies. Your character's <laughs> dead, bud. They can do a prequel. I don't want that either. <laughs> what are they going to do with that? I don't know. A young fucking Mace Windu training. I don't care. Mace Windu is not a good character. I don't understand why everyone wants him to come back. Because it's Sam Jackson. Jackson. Cool. I don't give a shit. Because it's Sam Jackson. He's going to get a bright teal lightsaber this time. Sam Jackson says in all of his interviews, we don't know if he's dead. He's dead. Jedi yeah. fall from great heights all the time. No, that's, what he, that's what he says. <laughs> he's dead because where the fuck he just disappeared after that moment. Forever. Like you said, Jedi are big weenies. They go into hiding a lot. <laughs> but but no one else has <laughs> fucking like sensed like Yoda didn't go. Wait a minute, I sensed somebody out there. Mace Windu's alive. No one else did that. But he did what Luke did. Cut himself off from the force. All right, well then, fuck Mace Windu. He's a bitch. <laughs> why would I? Why would I want this bitch character to come back? I, you would never say that to Sam Jackson. You would never call him. A I bitch. would. I wouldn't call Sam Jackson a bitch. I'd call Mace Windu a bitch. And he sliced your throat. Mace Windu's not real, Devin. <laughs> he's a Sam Jackson he's a is a character. Sam Jackson. I I would love for Sam Jackson to attempt to cut my fucking throat. I'll sue him for everything he's fucking got. No, you'd be dead. I'll sue him from the grave. From the grave. I mean, whatever. I'll record him as he's doing it. <laughs> so then there's proof that he just murdered What are you going to do with the Sue stuff? You'd be dead. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll ruin him from the grave. I'll ruin him from the grave. He'll get canceled. He, he, he cut me in all the wrong he places. Uh, that's, that's the only Star Wars news I have. I got some Marvel news. And that's about it. Shit. That's the Marvel news. Oh, some of the stuff you're you're gonna hate. Some of the stuff you're not gonna hate. Um, as, as usual, it's lost Spider Man three stuff still that we oh, that has come out since our last podcast episode. So um, I think I told you this maybe last week or something. Um, Thomas Jane wants to direct a John Berthold Frank yeah, Castle film. Cool. A- any thoughts on that? Mm. that? That'd be cool. I mean, Thomas Jane wasn't like an amazing Punisher, and that movie's not great. <laughs> John Travolta was a weird villain in that fucking movie. Um, but I like Thomas Jane just in general. Does he have any experience directing? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Um, it'd be cool to see like him and John Berthold like, do a Punisher thing together. I don't know if I want... Do you want a Punisher John Berthold movie? I, w- I would prefer a movie over a TV show. Because think so? I think, it w- I think his, his type of character works better in a short format than a long format. Because when you do a TV show, you have to kind of start to like give him like a backstory and like emotion to make us care about him in a movie you could just make him this fucking evil guy who's just obsessed with just murdering people and basically kind of like john wick you just yeah you can just you can do john wick you don't have to give him this deep intricate backstory and like whatever because that's when you start to make frank castle less interesting um so i'd, I'd honestly prefer a movie over a tv show i'd be fine with that you gotta do i would say if you do though you gotta make it rated r marvel 
Well, yeah. What kind of fucking moron would make a PG-13? Isn't there a PG-13 country movie? Not that I'm aware of. I think they're all rated R. I thought there was one that was PG-13. The Dolph Longer one might be PG-13, but nobody (laughs) likes that one, so fuck it. So fuck it. It's lame. Uh, And then this piece of news I told you about yesterday, and you were like, mad about this uh leonardo dicaprio might be showing up in dr strange i wasn't 2. mad about it i just think that like it's the same thing where people was like oh put tom cruise in uh fucking dr strange's iron man no one on the face of the fucking planet <laughs> is gonna understand that and tom tom cruise and leo are two of the biggest stars on the planet you think they're gonna come in and just be like yeah sure i'll show up for two seconds in a spider-man costume for this fucking dr strange movie they're going to make if especially if tom cruise comes on he's going to warp that entire movie to be about him. You don't think Leo would do the same thing? Leo, I don't think Leo's as much of an asshole as Tom Cruise to do that, but I think he would definitely, like, he'd demand all, most of the money. <laughs> he'd, he'd demand way more screen time. He'd be like, I want, like, half of the screen time if I'm going to be in this fucking movie. Leo doesn't just pop up. He doesn't just make cameos and stuff. Like, that. that's, and that's a weird cameo that maybe, like, 10% of people would get. I mean, that's a weird thing to put in this movie. I don't know what, he, what who would he play. Just he'd himself. be Spider Man, but he, that's mean, what everyone wants him to play. But like, what if he shows up as just some random character or something? That'd be very that'd be a waste. And again, he wouldn't just show up as Leo. He'd he'd be like a central character to the plot. He'd be the the MacGuffin. The MacGuffin. <laughs> he'd be the MacGuffin. I don't know. You can throw anybody in Doctor Strange too and make it work because it's a multiverse shit. You can do anything. Yes. It, you can throw anyone in, but Leonardo DiCaprio is one of the biggest stars in Hollywood working today. He's not going to just, oh, sure, I'll be in this movie for two minutes. He's he's not going to do that. I, I you, you have to think, like, business-wise about cameos and stuff like this. I'm like, not saying... Tom Tom Cruise would, is not going to do it. I'm not saying I think it's going to happen. I'm just reporting and, the and news. Leo, Leo definitely won't do it. He, he just, he's hot off his Oscar. He's, he's well, I mean four years ago but he, now that he's won that oscar he's like i ain't fucking doing anything else i'm i'm the lead in everything now like he's he's not gonna do it so everyone who wants it to happen it'd be a crazy cameo if it did happen though fuck you it's not gonna happen Ima- imagine sitting in the theater watching <laughs> dr strange 2 weird and he just shows up he's fucking weird. in his chubby fucking glory <laughs> and his fucking chubby spider-man or suit. tom cruise if tom cruise just shows he's, up uh, I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't know if I'd like Tom Cruise in a Marvel movie because it just seeing even if it's seeing for his like, face next to like Tom Holland Spider Man, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> even if it was like for like five minutes, you'd be like, nah. I don't know because Tom Cruise isn't like a good actor. He's very good at playing Tom Cruise, and he'd pretty much just be Tom Cruise for five minutes, and it's just I don't know. It's, I can't see that in Iron Man. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of funny, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we know it's him because he'd be like four foot tall but and then um i have three bits of spider-man three news and, I, and that's what uh we'll end on for this podcast unless you have news I, the only news i fucking saw that was even remotely relevant was that lizzie mcguire show is not happening anymore and i don't think anyone no one cares about, about that way exactly. so, nobody is a seven-year-old girl that wants to watch lizzie yo McGuire i watched lizzie mcguire growing up fuck you I mean, look at you now yeah i'm Damn. all fucked up <laughs> Anyway, some of these uh, we kind of like. It's news, but like we kind of like knew it was not happening. Yeah. Uh, J.K. Simmons is officially back. Spider Man Three, I figured, and he will have a larger role. Is what he said. In That's interview. cool. Maybe Peter uh, goes to him. It's like, hey, maybe they actually bitch. meet. Why are you framing me for shit? Maybe J.K. Simmons meets the other J.K. Simmons from the other universe. That'd be fun. And they're both just angry, yelling at each other. One will have hair, and one won't. Well, one, I. I would imagine the, the Sam Raimi one at this point would have a fucking heart attack and die. <laughs> you see many pills? He's just constantly he was... fucking... Yeah, and he stopped taking those fucking pills halfway through that fucking movie. He said, fuck these pills. And just started yelling. He yelled at that little fucking girl for scamming him out of that money. He's he's dead. He had a heart attack at like 16. What they, what they like wheelchair him in? Like he's, he's on like, oxygen. Yeah. Like, Give me a pair of Spider-Man. <laughs> Still smoking his fucking cigars. Like, You're on death's door. Like, fuck off. <laughs> No, go get your own pictures of Spider Man, you bitch. Uh, <laughs> I'd I love to have the other J.K. Simmons say that to him. They're like, well, who takes pictures anymore? Everything it's it's all digital, you fucker. <laughs> he, he's still running a newspaper, and this J.K. Simmons is running his yeah. web show or whatever. He's like, you're 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 out. The future is now. <laughs> the future is now. God damn it, that'd be fun. 
Um, I don't know if that'll happen, but that'd be fun. Uh, I, I think it, it'll just be the MCU's probably J.K. Simmons, I guess. Probably. I'm sure he'll meet Tom Holland Spider-Man, I'm, I'm which would be really fun. I would love that. He better fucking smoke cigars. I don't care about that. I care. It's not a big deal to me. It's a big deal to me. Maybe he vapes. I want to fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Yes. Do that. He's a vaping he's digital a... fucking J. Jonah James. He's, he's in the now. Fuck, man. That's cool. Uh, that'd be hilarious. No, that'd be that'd be great if they, he like goes and smoke something, and then like his one of his workers or whatever, Sam Raimi's brother shows up. He's like, "Sir, don't you know that vaping like healthier or whatever?" And he like hands him a vape, and then you see James vaping. He's like, "This fucking sucks." This that could be fun. Stupid. This is fucking stupid. I miss the old days. I miss I miss the cigars. I miss the cigars. Uh, and then the other piece of news that we already kind of knew about. Well, we knew Martin Starr was coming back, but it's official Hannibal Burris. So which is weird. Back on for uh, Spider-Man Three. Hopefully, he has a bigger role. I don't know. Is that just the gym teacher? Right? I don't know. I, I know you were questioning who's going to be the the black. Yeah, because I thought it was going to be like, like that was going to be a trend. Like each movie has a different like black teacher. It doesn't mean they couldn't movie. introduce another teacher. They could. Or Terry Crews. Hey, Jesus. Terry Crews is like the the science teacher. Is a science. I thought you wanted Kevin Hart or something. Kevin Hart would be really fun. I would love to see Kevin Hart interact with Spider Man. Because he'd be the same height. He'd be screaming his fucking act off, ass off. He would be the same height. <laughs> Spider Man might be a little taller. Might be just a little. I just, just little. Love, I just imagine that like the school gets blown up and he's just running down the hall. <laughs> yeah. And then Spider Man swings in and he's just he's still screaming. He's like, dude, chill. <laughs> like you're you're good. I saved you. I, so I saved wild. you. I saved you, small child. He's like, what? That could be hilarious. I'm not a child. Like, don't worry, young child. And he pats him on the head and swings away. He's like, what? I'm wearing a suit. <laughs> I'm an adult, God damn it. That could be fun. I don't know. I don't think Kevin Hart wants to be in a Marvel movie. Why not? I don't know. He, just, yeah, he doesn't strike that. me as he, a comic book getting, guy. Getting paid. Neither does Hannibal Buress. Uh, Hannibal Buress is more chill, I feel like. Hannibal, he's chill. He's Because he's fucking high all the time. He doesn't <laughs> know. He, I bet when he made the first Spider-Man movie, he didn't know where the fuck he was. Captain but, America? Yeah, he's real. Captain America? Cool. Yeah, sure. But like Kevin Hart's all about that money, and oh, Marvel man. paid him a lot of that money. I don't, I don't know. They pay him. They, he'd get money. He would. He'd get money. He'd get quite a bit of money, and he'd be able to promote that. And he's got a big fan base. It's true. And and he'd be like, "Yo, Rock, shout this shit out." I know the Rock's working with. DC. I don't think Spider Man Three needs any more promo. It doesn't, but you can have a little extra push. That, that'll that'll make it get one and a half billion dollars exactly. instead of just one point four. That half billion. No, instead of just one point four, it just goes one point five. Exactly. That, that little hundred million, right there. We need that. Kevin Hart. Sony does. We can make eighteen more Spider-Man movies with that. Sony definitely needs it. Yeah. Uh, and then this last piece of news. I don't know if you've heard this one yet. This is a rumor. It's not official. Rumor: more cameos from people in Spider-Man Three. Can you guess? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> this is just too much. I think you will care for this one. Is it the fucking the, the pizza guy no. is coming back? Is it the, the Mr. Dickovich or whatever? No. It was is it the girl who like fed him cookies? No. Like who the fuck who who the fuck could it possibly be that isn't already in this fuck? Is it James Franco? <laughs> no. Who is Tom it? Hardy and Jared Leto possible cameos in this movie. What are your what are your thoughts on that? It's too much shit. In this movie already. <laughs> and now you're going to do the multiverse thing and tie those fucking movies together. Knowing Sony... it's going to confuse the fuck out of everybody. If any of these rumors are true, it's this one. Oh, definitely. I, I believe this more than I believe Tobey Maguire is coming back. Are you fucking kidding me? I would still find it hilarious if they recast Tobey because he doesn't yeah, sign on. That'd be hilarious. He'd, be like, he'd, be, he'd take his mask off and there'd be this big moment and then you'd be like, wait, who... Who's that supposed to be? Who's this? <laughs> Who's this fuck? Is that Jake Gyllenhaal? I guess uh, so. I'd, I'd laugh at that. I, I would. I know there would be fan outrage if that. I don't give a. F- All of you fucking Raimi fans are some of the whiniest bitches I've ever <laughs> fucking seen in my entire life. I, just, I hope you get your fucking dreams. If Toby smashed. is like holding out for the big money, I don't understand why. Just fucking do it. Because he thinks he's hot shit. He's not. He's a fucking asshole. I was talking to some. I was talking to Dylan the other day. I'm like, what other thing have you seen Tony McGuire? He's like nothing. Most people have only seen him in Spider Man. He was in Sea Biscuit. I, I thought I told him the only other thing I've seen him in was Greg Gatsby. He was in. He wasn't a great guy, but he was terrible in that movie. <laughs> uh, he was in that movie with Jake Gyllenhaal where they play like brothers or whatever, and he's really dumb and stupid. But other other than the, he was in that Ang Lee movie. Other other than the Raimi Spider Man movies and Great Gatsby, those only things I've seen. He was in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas for like a second. 
he, why does he think he's hot shit? I don't know. Because he was Spider Man, Devin. Twenty years ago. Yeah, he's living in the past. It ain't, it ain't 2001. He's living in the past. Tell him that. <laughs> I, I'm aware of what year it is. He's not. He thinks he's still... He, he, thinks, he, he's thinks, ar- he thinks he's already J of Spider-Man. Yeah, he thinks he just wrapped Spider-Man 3. He thought he it was good. He still wants the big bucks. He thought Spider-Man 3 was good. He watches Spider-Man 3 every night. He's just like, fucking A, man. I'm so good. It was uh, my best acting. It's my masterpiece. It's in that movie right there. It's like, no, Toby. He's just never been good. Take whatever they're offering, show up for 20 minutes, and then be done. No, he, he could, because I think he sees the future potential where it's like, if I show up in this and people like it, you might be able to do Spider-Man 4, and I might be able to come back into the limelight a little bit, so I'm going to ask for a lot more money. No, then just... I think that's what... That, he, I think that's how his mind is If working. he thinks that's the case, then just sign on for this movie. Don't sign for Spider-Man 4 yet. But I think that he wants... So that if it thing. blows up, you can sign for more money. He, he wants a definitive... St- well, if it doesn't work out, he wants the fucking... He wants a lot of money. He's not going to sign up for less money and then it doesn't work out. Take He's the like, well, couple fuck. mil. I'm sure they're offering, like, at least three million. They're offering a hefty penny. I'm sure of it. Andrew Garfield was smart enough. That, like he was like, "Fucking hey, hell yeah, I'll, I'll come back." He also wants to come back. Yeah, I don't think Toby wants to because <laughs> he's an asshole. That's hey, you know that Spider Man y'all like? Yeah, he's a dick. He, he, he have you seen the videos of him yelling at people? On the yeah, street? it's fucking hilarious. Because yeah. <laughs> I can't take Toby McGuire seriously ever. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from my fucking car! Get away from the fucking car! It's like, all right, chill, Peter Parker. God damn, Toby, go steal some more pizzas. <laughs> you stole that guy's pizza. They're they're bringing that dude back. They better. All the, all the, out of all the cameos, that'd be the, the only one I give a flying fuck about. <laughs> that'll be the only one in the theater where I'll be like, ha ha, and I'll laugh because I'll be like, hey, that's fun. That's a, that's an actual fun cameo. Fun cameo. I'm sure James Franco is going to come back too. I'm sure. All, James everybody. Franco is like a fucking convicted rapist or whatever. Yeah. They're going to put his ass in a MCU family movie. He he is the only one I haven't heard rumored to be in because he's a convicted rapist or whatever. That and the guy who played the lizard. The, the only people that I've not heard. Yeah, why not bring that guy back? I don't know. He has not been in That's... any rumors. What the fuck? But everybody all else. the people you can bring back, he, he could actually get a shot finally to play Lizard. And he's like, nope, fuck him. Nah. Because I, I, maybe they're saving they want to use Lizard down the road because they're running out of Spider-Man villains after this. But So like, we can't throw everybody in this. We gotta, we gotta save. Maybe, maybe don't put everyone in this movie and maybe don't make 18 fucking Spider-Man movies. I mean, we never. Maybe, maybe all this is just smokescreen. Because eventually you're gonna run out of villains. Yeah, and you're gonna have to bring in other villains from other characters and make them villains to Spider-Man. Yeah. So, but like, maybe it's all smokescreen. Maybe none of these people are in this movie, and it's all just PR stuff. Yeah, because Marvel hasn't officially really confirmed any of these guys yet. No. Right? Is all of this has been a uh, variety other, other than. Alfred Molina and Jamie Foxx. Those two, Those confirmed, two are right? like officially confirmed. And then I think it was Variety or Deadline said that Andrew Garfield and Kirsten Dunst were on. And they're That's a pretty strange. reliable source. That's very strange. Like, that'd, be, that'd be hilarious if they brought back Andrew Garfield and Kirsten Dunst, but no one else. Well, they said Maybe Toby and Emma Stone were in talks, but Emma Stone may not come back because she her show. That makes sense because she's actually like busy doing shit. What the, hell's, what the hell's Toby McGuire doing? waiting for more money i don't know he's sitting on his fucking ass playing poker i don't know all i want as of right now is a title reveal i want to know what the name is spider-man movie. home away from home home away from home i don't i have no idea spider-man uh fucking too many spider somebody wanted spider-man home world i saw that i don't that's i don't know far from home was a dumb title just make some other fucking dumb title i don't give a shit spider-man uh homeward bound it'd be funny if they just call it spider-man 3 but I don't, really I don't think they do that. that. They 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 wrote themselves in a corner with the home shit. Yeah, I don't understand why that was like a thing that they committed to. Like I understood homecoming; that made sense. Yeah. Why does every movie have to have that fucking word in it? Uh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe the third one they just drop it. I don't know. You should because it's dumb. Yeah. Just call it Spider Man. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Because there's too many fucking people in this fucking movie. Oh, and Charlie Cox is like a. Official. Oh yeah, Charlie Cox yeah. is official, but I'm sure he's gonna have a very small role. Yeah. So and I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine if he just shows up as Matt as, as a lawyer or whatever. Yeah. Be like, my client is innocent, and everyone's like, "Oh man, you're so good. You're so good. You're blind. You're fantastic. How does he do it? It's like it's a he, superpower. He's, he's, he's a good lawyer. Your heartbeat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's all the news I got. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't want Tom Hardy and Jared Leto being this movie. About no. Today. 
No one does. Especially since we haven't even seen Morbius yet. Exactly. Even out. I mean, it's already connected because Michael Keaton's in it. So I, again, I I don't know how these movies are connected. At it's all. just in the universe. Is it? Is it though? They're gonna make it a part of the universe. Like, like is Kevin Feige it. like, oh yeah, yeah, it's in the universe, or is it Kevin, Sony being like, yeah, it's Kevin in the Feige has nothing to do with it. Sony's just going to force it into the universe. No, they can try all they want. It's Kevin they Feige's did. universe. They already did. He can say no. They already <laughs> did. They, they 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 did a sneak attack. It was just like, all right, you don't want us to be a part of the universe, Michael Keaton. <laughs> we're casting as they just fucking put him in the movie and didn't tell anybody we won't say who, who's Kevin playing. Feige didn't know he was in the movie until he saw the Morbius trailer was like what he probably made many phone calls that day what like can they do this the fuck who the fuck do you think you guys are like, we're Sony we're Sony it's like yeah we mooch that's what we do like, yeah exactly <laughs> like, I don't know I, I, I think it's gonna be the case of Sony acknowledges the MCU, but the MCU doesn't acknowledge Sony. So it's not canon. God, that's how I think it's going to be. So it's like the Netflix shows, where they're like kind of canon, but not really. Yeah, yeah. So that's dumb. Until, until like, they make a good movie and Kevin Feige's like, yeah, why not? But even then, like, Venom made a lot of, Venom made a billion dollars. But not a lot of people like it. And people like Venom. Nah. People, people, I've talked to plenty of people who are like, Venom's okay, like, Venom's cool. I don't like it. I don't either. Most, most like. I'd rather have Upgrade be came oh, to the man, MCU that'd be then. amazing that's too dark to be <laughs> they'd, they'd be like no this is not this is not okay um I'd be a fucking A if they rebranded Upgrade as Venom I wouldn't be upset I wouldn't either I'd be like that makes perfect sense <laughs> they even got someone in it who looks like Tom Hardy so fuck it yeah. and he was already in a Spider-Man movie so boom there you go yeah it's all connected even though he dies in both movies I mean I would Spoilers. love to see Kevin <laughs> I'd love to see Kevin Feige do Venom properly, but I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't think Kevin Feige even would do Venom properly because Venom needs to be like a Spawn level, like R rated, like dark as fuck. Like I'm eating people, and this is a real problem because I'm a fucking murderer. I even like I think Kevin Feige will lighten it up a little bit. He won't make it as goofy as it was, but he, I think he'll make it a little bit more like. I don't know. Yeah, Venom's a bad guy, but he's not like eating children. I would like to see a, a MCU version. Of Venom with Tom Holland, I think that would be interesting to see. Yeah, and I would like it without Tom Hardy. Yeah, yeah, because Tom Hardy is not—he's not a good Eddie Brock. He's not Eddie Brock, Which especially shame, especially to Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Because I love Tom Tom Hardy, but he's not Eddie Brock at all. Nah. Um, and he's he should have been someone else in the MCU that could have been way cooler. Yeah, I don't know why he could have probably held out and been in the MCU instead of being. He could have been a cool Craven. He could have. He's got that fucking accent. He can grow a cool beard. Could have. He's a he's didn't big. Didn't he one of them as Wolverine at one point? He could have made a fucking because aw- he's dirty and gross looking like Wolverine, <laughs> and he's not all that tall, and he can get fucking hairy. He he would have made a fucking awesome. He's dirty and gross. Looking. Yeah, he's not a very good looking guy. <laughs> I don't um, know. I think he's a decent. Tom looking Hardy's guy. ugly. Wow. He's an ugly man. You I, lo- I love you, Tom, but you're ugly. Bet you wouldn't say that to his face. No, because he punched me square in the face. But he's an ugly man. I don't know. I feel like Tom. Yeah, I feel like he's a. He's a nice dude. I don't know. He's very terrifying. Do we need another Tom in the MCU? We already got like three or two. Or three. Uh, yeah, we got three so far. I don't know. We got like four Chris's in the fucking. That's MCU. true. Well, well, yeah. We don't got Chris Pine yet. Not yet. We need the. We need all of the Chris's. We need all. We need the the, the, the infinity trifecta. the infinity gauntlet of Chris's. Of Chris's. <laughs> he'll 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 be in the fucking MCU at some point. Nah, he's doing one more. He'll be. Same. That's not gonna last. He'll be in the MCU at some point. He'll, he'll realize that, like, oh, fuck, I signed on for the wrong thing. I'm going to be Nova or some shit. You're going to be Nova? Which would be fucking cool as shit. That would be pretty cool, actually. A, a Rick Ryder fucking uh, Nova played by Chris Pine. Are you fucking kidding me? Brad Pitt would be cool, too. Brad Pitt would be cool. I think he's too big, though, to be Nova. But... Eh, no, because they would make the movie about him. I don't know if he wants. I'm, to be, I'm Nova. I don't know if he wants to be tied down for like four movies. Don't put him in four fucking movies. Kill him in, at the end. <laughs> Murder him. Murder him, and because then, then they could introduce the new. Nova. Yeah, he, could, be, he could be like the mentor capacity. Like, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, fucking do that, Marvel. I don't know. Is Brad Pitt busy doing stuff? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. He's still trying to get World War Z two off the ground. Oh, yeah, that's never gonna happen. What was these all right? I don't know why I need to see I've never, never seen it. He did Deadpool for a cup of coffee. You never see? I thought we saw that. No, I never saw it. I thought you saw that at my house for some reason. I might have saw like five minutes of it, but mm-hmm. I, I haven't sat down and watched it. It looked really dumb. 
It's all right. It's every zombie movie you can think of. Brad Pitt has cool hair in it. Yeah. Is that his hair or is that a wig? I assume that's his hair. Mm. That'd be, we're going to put this wig on you, Brad Pitt. That'd be weird. That what? He's got a full head of hair. He can grow that. I've never seen it long, though. So He's got long hair. Mm-hmm. A uh, fucking interview with a vampire. He's got long hair. I never, I never even heard of that. It's a like good fucking movie. Yeah, uh, Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, uh, and Antonio Banderas, and they're all like gay vampires. Antonio Banderas and a young Kirsten Dunst. It's got the all star cast right there. Fucking a man, and they're all like gay vampires. <laughs> <laughs> all gay vampires. Yeah, nice. It's it has a great movie. Nice. K- Kirsten Dunst isn't a gay vampire because she's like seven in that movie, but Tom Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, and Antonio Banderas are all like gay vampires. Nice, it's fantastic. It's a, it's a Sounds really like a movie. fantastic movie. It's great. It's a great movie. <laughs> I think that's the that's the podcast, right? That's the, that's the end of the podcast. Very you know, short episode. You're not gonna ask me for the fun fact of the day. You never have one, so I'm just, I got a fun fact. What of the is day. your fun fact? You know this fun fact. Do I? Yeah, it's a, it's a DC fun fact. Oh, that the DC is terrible. Yeah, no, no, no it's everyone, not, everyone knows it's not that. A, that. That is a fun fact, but it's not the fun fact. It's not a fun fact. It's a very depressing <laughs> fact. Uh, I was gonna say that every year Santa visits Darkseid personally to give him a piece of coal in the comic. Every year for Christmas. Comics are fucking retarded. <laughs> DC comics specifically are fucking stupid. <laughs> There's an entire comic dedicated to Santa giving Darkseid a piece of coal. Yeah, and they wonder why people don't read comics anymore. You got stupid shit like this. <laughs> Santa wouldn't even bother. Santa would be like, you get it. You're bad. Your name is Dark Side. Also, does Santa do aliens? Like, is that a thing? I thought he was like an Do earthquake. aliens are a thing? It's like, not a sentence. Like, does he like give presents to aliens? Like, is that, is that a thing? If aliens existed, uh, probably, yeah. I feel like that was just like an And if Santa... Well, for one, you're at, you're saying that as if Santa's like a real thing. I'm talking it's about... fiction. Uh, you know what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. I thought he was an earthbound thing. He's a magical. He's a fucking alien too. Maybe he's like a magic man. He he's from Krypton. Maybe that's what he is. Fuck. He's the the uh, the lost Shazam warrior. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Santa Claus. That'd be insane. Can we get? You want to make a good fucking movie? Can we get a Santa Claus versus Shazam movie? That'd be really weird. Get Mel Gibson. Have him reprise his role from oh Batman. My gosh. With all guns and all. Guns and all. And I want to have him shoot Zachary Levi in the brain. That'd be nuts. That'd be awesome. It'd be interesting, though. I want it. The Shazam Holiday Special. Exclusively on HBO Max. It'd be, it'd be interesting. That'd be fucking... You want all the Oscars? Make that. Have all, like, any Oscars. I, I can make that movie win all the Oscars. <laughs> you just gotta make it good enough. You could say that about any movie. Exactly. You just gotta make it good just enough. Make it good enough. Make it good then, enough. Then you know it'll it'll win an Oscar. Make it make it good enough. Make it a period piece and it'll win an Oscar. So I didn't like the fifteen hundreds. Make it a period piece comedy horror classic. Don't no, don't make it a horror because horror movies don't win Oscars. Make it everything else. Leave horror out of it. Everything else? Yeah. So it's cyberpunk. It's like a rom com sci fi action comedy. Uh, cyberpunk fun romp <laughs> thriller thriller <laughs> suspense Wait, I imagine somebody watching this movie like what the fuck what is fuck this is happening <laughs> every like, scene's a different yeah. tone <laughs> it's like seven people made this movie it's like well because they did yeah every every scene was it's like by a uh, it's person. like our Robocop remake you ever seen that no where uh, the when the Robocop remake was coming out Someone online uh, put up like a like a uh, thing that was like, "Hey, we're gonna remake RoboCop," and then like a, like a fan version of it, and then people like started to sign on to it, and and then the more people they got to sign on to it, they like gave different people different parts of the movie, and then they they went off and like shot their parts of the movie, and then they got them all back and they like edited them together, and they're so like drastically different. <laughs> In the movie, like so, some people went all out and like made a legitimate scene, and then other people are just like the Robocop is just like tinfoil and like nice. a fucking hat or whatever. And it's like, it's it. The, if you haven't seen our Robocop remake, fucking watch it. It's so fucking funny. That's it's awesome. so good. That's awesome. Why didn't you take part in that? Because I didn't care. <laughs> I was like, I don't give a fuck. You had free time, I'm sure you could have done it. I did. I was, I was in like fucking high school. 
Yeah, you could have done that. I could have, but I didn't care. I was busy doing high school things. Mm, there's nothing. Yeah. 